Hello Hungry Fam and welcome to our channel. Today I am going to test few chocolate hacks from Instagram Reels and check if they are real or fake. Before starting the video, like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Real Hunger Plan. Also click on the bell icon to get all the post notifications. For the next hack on a double boiler, I am going to melt milk chocolate. Thoda added dark chocolate as well to match the video ka color. Once the chocolate is melted, dip yellow packet wale leaves that is the salted ones and dip from only one side. Then take it out and let the excess chocolate drip out. Then place it on a plate and let it set for 5 to 10 minutes. And just look at that. Salted chocolate potato chips are ready. Let's taste it. Wow, that was a nice snap and it tastes so good. It's a perfect balance of sweet and salty with the crunch. You can clearly see the two layers, chocolate ka and lace ka. I absolutely loved it. It's a nice snacking option as well and it was a success. For the next hack in a bowl, add one egg yolk. To that, add two tablespoons of caster sugar and whisk till the sugar melts. Then add 60 ml of coffee and whisk. Now keep this bowl over a pan with boiling water and keep whisking it for five to eight minutes. Take it out and add 50 grams of dark chocolate chunks and whisk till the chocolate melts and the mixture is lump free. Then transfer it into any tetra pack lined with baking paper. Now I'm going to refrigerate it for four to five hours. Sadly, it didn't set in few hours, so I kept it overnight. But still, it doesn't look that set. But anyway, let's demold it. Clearly, it hasn't set. I'm going to sprinkle some cocoa powder over it and let's taste it. Wow, the taste is so good. It's slightly bitter but sweet as well, which is a nice combination. It's very rich and decadent. It's silky smooth and literally melts in your mouth. If it set, ho jata to pakka it would have been a big hit. But it didn't, so it is a 50-50 for me. For the next hack, I'm placing two packets of Parlegy biscuits on a steamer. I'm going to let it steam for 10 to 15 minutes. Once it's done, take it out into a bowl and crush it. Bowl chota pad gaya, so I changed it. I guess my biscuits are not so soft, hai, so I added a bit of milk to soften them. Then I added a lot of chocolate syrup. And I'm going to knead it into a semi soft dough. Once you get this consistency, keep it aside. Then in a bowl, I added half cup of milk powder and mix it with half cup of milk. Whisk it well and add it into a pan. Now I'm going to let it cook while stirring continuously until it thickens and gets to this consistency. Then place a butter paper and over that place the biscuit dough. Place another butter paper over it and roll it flat using a rolling pin up to half inch thickness sheet. Then apply the rub D we made all over it. Spread it out evenly. Then cut out the excess edges and start rolling it like so. Use butter paper to get a tight roll. Then wrap it into the same paper and refrigerate it for at least an hour. Let's take it out. Looks quite set. Now I'm going to cut it into thin slices and just look at how beautiful these cuts are. This Palaji Swiss roll looks amazing. It's turned out absolutely perfect. Let's taste it now. Wow, it's so good. Palaji biscuit ka obviously dominant flavor hai, which I love. It's creamy and ek the mawa ki mithai jasa hai. It's so different that you should definitely try this on an upcoming festival. And I'm sure your guests are going to be impressed. So this hack was a big hit. For the next hack, I'm breaking one packet of hide and seek biscuit in a blender. Then grind it into fine powder. 
Take it out into a bowl. To that, add a half teaspoon of baking powder and mix. Then add just a tablespoon or two of milk and whisk it into a lump-free batter. Then transfer this batter on a pan. I guess my batter was a little thick and it was a little thick so that it would spread easily. Anyway, I used a spatula and spread it. Then I added a few chocolate chips over it and let it cook for 5 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out of the pan. Looks quite good and like a fluffy pancake. Let's taste it. Wow, just look at that. It is so light, very airy, almost like a cake. The taste is so good. It's simple to make and takes no time. So definitely try it out. It was a success. For the next hack, just place Oreos on a waffle machine and it's supposed to become like an actual waffle. How is it possible? Hai? I don't know, but let's see. Let's open it. Okay, as expected, proper waffle nahi bana. I tried again, but this time pieces kare and I put it on top of the other I press these Oreos quite hard and I'm going to cook it for 5 minutes and open it after 2-3 to three minutes. Again, there's nothing, so clearly this hack was busted. For the next hack in a bowl, I'm breaking one banana and mashing it into a paste using a fork. To that, add one fourth cup of peanut butter and mix. Then add two tablespoons of cocoa powder, half teaspoon baking powder and whisk it all together until it's lump free. Then transfer it into a microwave-safe greased bowl. Level it and microwave for 1-2 to two minutes as given in the video. Of course, 2 minutes it didn't It took 8 minutes in total. Then I took it out and demolded it. Doesn't look good at all. I placed it on the top of it. Let's taste it now. Okay, I didn't like it at all. The taste and texture is very weird and not at all like a cake. It's not sweet as well. I don't know if I did anything wrong, but it is so bad. I'm only feeling kaise to, but for me, this hack was busted. Try these delicious chocolate hacks and let me know your feedback. The shout outs goes to Archana Patnaik, Deep Harman, Abhi Dhuri and Anshika Singla for sending today's video. If you want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Rate Hunger Plants and comment on this video telling me that you have. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more amazing videos.